The Evening Times reported that the fate of Glasgow teacher Jim Beatty, who had a Bobby Sands mug and a free dairy Christmas card, will be decided by the 25th of September this year, despite 22,000 students petitioning to save his job. Students describe him as a legend. The Independent reported that Stormont Assembly members will have their pay cut by £13,000 sterling 20 months after Stormont collapsed. The Irish Independent reported that Four guards who were suspended in relation to a cocaine probe won't face criminal charges. In House, the magazine of Westminster's House of Commons, Karen Bradley stated that she didn't know that unionists electorally compete with unionists and that nationalists compete with nationalists electorally in the six counties. This shows that the British state and British government will never be able to govern any part of Ireland competently. The Irish Times reported that the Belfast High Court heard that the arrests of Lockin Island documentary journalists was intimidation by the RUC and that is the truth in my opinion.